good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, due to time constraints, I only have a few minutes, I wanted to just do a little something looking at uh, the book of Proverbs in chapter 1 and just looking at the first seven verses, which um, I think they have aptly titled this The Beginning of Knowledge, and I think this is a good thing. Um, I would think m maybe more would be the beginning of wisdom, God's wisdom. That's why I always think of Proverbs as being God's practical wisdom to help us in our everyday lives to do the right things. And you'll notice wisdom is mentioned a lot throughout Proverbs. Um, but just the first seven verses here in Proverbs chapter 1. Let me read these. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight, to receive instruction. To give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the youth. Let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. To understand a proverb and a saying, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So here, basically this is the beginning of learning from the words of uh, Proverbs is basically um, attributed to King Solomon, though I think they they do admit that some of the Proverbs came from some other authors. I, I, I'm not going to claim to know them all right now, and I'm not sure that's pertinent. But in these first seven verses in the first chapter of Proverbs, this is the beginning. This is this is why you kind of call this a summary or why you would read Proverbs to know wisdom and instruction to understand words of insight and notice the very first verse does say the Proverbs of Solomon son of David king of Israel which that is Solomon but um, in verse 2 again the purpose the purpose of Proverbs to know wisdom and instruction to understand words of insight Verse 3, also more of the purpose to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equity. These things we attribute, as Christians, we attribute these things as coming from the Word of God. And here, for practical everyday use and for practical everyday living, this is the wisdom of God to help us in our decision making and to uh, give prudence to the simple verse 4 knowledge and discretion to the youth um, this is to help you in all your life really in every phase of your life to uh, um, follow God and follow his wisdom and his instruction let the wise hear and increase in learning and the one who understands obtain guidance so a lot of times when they say hear, they mean hear and understand, not just letting the sound bounce off your eardrum, but actually hear and understand, and increase in learning. So that's part of the understanding, and the one who understands obtain guidance. Uh, to understand a proverb and a saying, the words of the wise and their riddles. So, you know, to understand these proverbs, to come and look at these and read these as to help you um, make good decisions in your life and to follow God's wisdom. Um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And that's the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of wisdom. Um, the fear of the Lord a lot of times is, is translated as the respect or um, the awe, um, which is kind of got some fear to it because God is, is all-powerful. But um, it's really meant more to be in tended to be more of a respect, a respect of that authority and that power. Fools despise wisdom and instruction, and yes, um, when you're unwise, when you are, it doesn't mean you're an idiot or you're never going to straighten up or change your ways, but we've all been foolish at different times in our lives where we did not want to accept instruction or wisdom from others and then maybe even from the Bible itself so um, 
And there is a theme that runs throughout Proverbs that fools and the wicked despise wisdom and instruction and will not listen to the Word of God and will not follow the Word of God and they are on a path of destruction. Um, that destruction is further further mentioned by Jesus in the New Testament and the disciples and the, in the epistles um, because where they end up if you do not follow God's wisdom and God's teachings and you do not try to follow the Lord then yeah you're going to end up in the real destruction and being separated from God so that is the first seven uh, verses here just in the beginning of Proverbs just explaining what Proverbs is for and I would say that if you have not read uh, Proverbs or very much you sh probably should um, Proverbs is very good uh, in a lot of different ways a lot of practical things here uh, the way it is written I think for the most part you will not have a lot of trouble understanding it um, there may be some things that may not seem exactly I don't know clear to you just because their customs were different back here I mean we do have to remember this was you know thousands of years ago and their customs were different and uh, the world the way the world they lived in is not exactly the same as our high-tech world now so some things you know are different but the wisdom the ideas um, the, the idea that you would seek God's wisdom over over man's and over science not that science is bad science is not bad but just um, that you would seek God's wisdom first um, <clears throat> because uh, you know science is fine but science cannot guide you through your daily life and help you make the correct moral choices and do the correct things science is a different type of thing so alright um, again I just wanted to go over those first seven verses there and just kind of walk through that. Uh, I would encourage you to read Proverbs if you uh, if you uh, have the time, if you can make the time. It's a good place to start if you don't know other places to start. If you have read the Gospels and you would like to read um, more about God's wisdom and know more about how to make decisions in a lot of things and how to and there's a lot of moralistic and uh, wise things in Proverbs so and that's all I just wanted to make that as a recommendation uh, I, like I said I had a kind of a time constraint here where I wasn't going to have enough time to do like a whole other chapter um, if we were to just flip through here you could look at some different things in uh, Proverbs well, even just here in still in chapter 1, if you look at verse 20, uh, Wisdom cries aloud in the street, in the markets she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy streets she cries out. At the entrance of the city gates she speaks. How long, O simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? And this is just saying that wisdom is here to be had and that people are ignoring it and not not listening, not paying attention to God's wisdom. And if we back up even to verse 8, Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and forsake not your mother's teaching, for they are a graceful garland for your head and pendants for your neck. This is probably the better place to, to start and continue, just because this is part of the beginning. Um, because as children, we start out with our father and our mother. Um, and we should hear and understand our father's instruction and forsake not our mother's teaching for they agree they are a graceful garland for your head and pendants for your neck they are a good thing to to remember and i know it's kind of it's a spiritual thing but to remember and adorn yourself spiritually is you know um <clears throat> verse 10 my son if sinners entice you do not consent Verse 11, if they say, Come with us, let us lie and wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without reason. Like Sheol, let us swallow them alive and whole like those who go down to the pit. And Sheol is something to do... I'll have to look that up. It has something to do with death and 
it's like a place of death, like the grave, but slightly different. So, um, we shall find all precious goods. We shall fill our houses with plunder. See, these are people planning, wicked people planning evil. And he's saying, you know, do not, don't go with these people. Don't, don't, don't fall into this type of thing. Because, of course, they will encourage you, like they say here, throw in your lot among us. We will all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Hold back your foot from their paths. You know, don't follow them. Don't go with them. Um, these are definitely wicked, untrustworthy people. For in vain is a net spread. Well, whoops. I skipped. Hold on. Let me back up. Hold back your foot from their paths. For their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. And isn't that true? You can see that in the gangs and the the thieves and robbers down throughout the uh, centuries even I mean forever this has been going on um, these folks who do that are wicked and they're you know they make haste to shed blood they're not it doesn't bother them so um, don't fall in with those type of people don't become those type of people where you know you plot and scheme and plan to to, to rob others and even to hurt others because it says, come with us, let us lie and wait for blood, let us ambush the innocent, you know. So part of that is part of being a, like a highway robber almost, like if they would just ambush someone and kill them and take their stuff. Um, so that's, you know, that's practical advice there that you would give, anyone would give their child. So you can think of a lot of Proverbs as being practical advice, but more this I mean, but more than just this. But this is a good, you know, this is a good start, a good foundation with the beginning of Proverbs. So, then, um, let's see. For in vain is a net spread in the sight of any bird, but these men lie in wait for their own blood. They set an ambush for their own lives. Such are the ways of everyone who is greedy for unjust gain. It takes away the life of its possessors. So, this path leads to their death, leads to bad things for them. Um, they lie in wait for their own blood. They set an ambush for their own lives because they ruined their lives with these practices, with these evil, evil practices, and, and you know, ambushing and hurting others and stealing from others. They hurt themselves, and they, um, you know, it takes away the life of its possessors, like it says here at the verse 19, such are the ways of everyone who is greedy for unjust gain it takes away the life of its possessors so, this was just something I wanted to mention from Proverbs I've always liked Proverbs so and that's all I really had time for, I just wanted to do that, I didn't think I would have time for the next chapter in our other reading so, thank you for listening, if you're interested in Proverbs you should definitely Give it a read and just take your time and, and slowly read it and make sure you understand. Um, there may be some references that are a little harder, like the Sheol reference. I'll have to look that up and see what that is. Okay? All right. Um, thanks for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless you.